As we work towards social justice and equality, 3 News Now is bringing you stories of people, plans, and projects aimed at showing you how Omaha is moving forward. And with this month being Hispanic Heritage Month, 3 News Now anchor Maya Sines takes us inside the Latino Art and History Museum, a place everyone can enjoy no matter where you're from. Omaha is full of history, and in South Omaha, history was made in 1993 when Magdalena Garcia, a Mexico City native, opened El Museo Latino. It opened on May 5th, 1993, so Cinco de Mayo, 1993. We opened at the Livestock Exchange Building as the first Latino art and history museum in Nebraska, actually in the Midwest. Garcia, who used to work in the corporate sector, found out during graduate school that in 1993, there were only four Latino museums in the country, Chicago, San Francisco, Austin, and in New York City. So she switched careers and opened up the fifth one, right here in Omaha, Nebraska. In 93, there was, um, it was the year that Nebraska was actually uh, mandating um, multiculturalism in the curriculum. So there are a number of things that were happening, mostly because of the growth in the in this Latino population all over the country. You know, the numbers in Nebraska don't compare with California and Texas, but it has been growing. And so why not Omaha? The museum includes local, national, and international arts celebrating Latino culture, something from every Latin American country. Our mission is to focus on the art, history, culture, tradition, celebrations, 365 days a year, not just on Cinco de Mayo, or during National Hispanic Heritage Month. From photography to prints, paintings, and even sculptures. We have this gra uh, Latin American graphics exhibition, the molas that we just opened. We always have some temporary exhibits that, that you were able to see pre-Columbia, and then we have the cases that you saw, a sample from each country that from Latin America. We have one from our collection. The museum was closed from March 13th to August 7th due to the pandemic. They are open again following social distancing guidelines and have extended exhibitions to make sure you get to enjoy them. Which includes, for the next few days, the Dolores Huerta Revolution in the Field exhibit, which highlights the life and work of Huerta, a civil rights activist and labor leader for immigrant farm and field workers, who has become one of the most influential Latino leaders in the country. She's one of the many draws to the museum, which Garcia says is full of history and art that anyone can appreciate. We open our building and our spaces to everyone. We know you don't have to be Latino to come in. Uh, and it's a way to learn about part of our community that I think, you know, the arts make it, uh, make it, we try to make it accessible and welcoming. And it's a way of, you know, I don't think that anyone has to love everything. I, I, that would be impossible. But you, you can gain an appreciation for the contributions whether it's, you know, what we contribute to the economy, what things are here, or just what has been created with human hands. It doesn't matter what color or where they're from. In Omaha, Maya Signs, 3 News Now. You can find more information on all of our Moving Forward stories and Hispanic Heritage Month stories by visiting our website, 3newsnow.com, and click on the Moving Forward tab. And there's also a place where you can let us know if you have a story idea.